If your Google business profile is not visible on Google, don't panic. I'm here to help. We're gonna sort this out and I'm gonna share exactly what the reasons are that your profile might not be visible. And I'm gonna help you troubleshoot and figure out the steps to take to make sure that your profile becomes visible on Google so that you can get the exposure you deserve for your business. But before we jump in, be sure to hit that like and subscribe because if you're a local business owner, my channel talks all about Google business profile, local SEO, and the marketing tools you need to attract customers. Now let's jump right into this. Okay, as you probably already know, your Google business profile is your online business card. It's that website before your website that creates all the traffic for your business. When people are searching for things, that three pack of results comes up that pulls in the Google Maps results. What are those? Those are Google business profiles. So it's essential to make sure that first and foremost, you have some visibility for your Google profile. So we're gonna walk through the few different steps of the issues that could be causing the lack of visibility for your business. Here we go. Okay, first, your business might just not be verified yet. Now, you may not realize that you actually have to verify your business information with Google before Google's going to trust you and put you directly in the search engine results, which is, of course, what you want, because that's what creates all the traffic for your business. Now, there are three ways that Google usually allows a business to be verified. It's by phone, it's by email, or it's by mail. Now, for most of you, it's probably gonna be by mail, and you're going to get something in the mail like this that comes right from Google with a number in it and steps that you have to take to actually go in and verify your business. Now, Google's gonna mail that to you. They do mail it pretty quick, and then you're able to verify your business. That's first and foremost. A lot of times before your business is verified, Google doesn't wanna show it in the search results. So that's first. Number two, your profile might have just been created. So if it's a newly created profile, even if you verified, sometimes it takes Google a little bit of time for your profile to show up in search because if you're familiar with SEO at all, you may have heard, hey, SEO can take three to six months to work depending on what you're targeting and what you're working on. It's the same thing. Check out my other videos where I talk about how Google doesn't trust new websites. It doesn't trust new information on the web very well. So if you're new, you might just need to be a little bit patient, especially if you've already verified. But stick around because even though you verified, you might be missing this other thing in step four that you really need to do too. Number three, your profile could be suspended or disabled. Now you may have unknowingly violated one of Google's rules and they could have suspended your profile. So you need to actually log in. If you were just checking and searching for your profile and couldn't find it, you need to actually search your business name or search my business and go to the back end login of your Google business profile and look for a notification to see if there's any notification of suspension. You may have also gotten an email to the email associated with your Google business profile. If you're not the owner of the Google business profile, but just a manager, you may not have received this notification. So check with the person who actually owns the profile to see if they can see any notification or have received an email about being disabled or suspended. That could have happened without you knowing, which would have resulted in the lack of visibility in search results. Okay, number four, it actually could be that your profile is showing up, but you have such a low ranking that it's hard to get it to actually show up in the results for you. So it's technically visible in Google, but because of your lack of optimization of your profile, it's not going to appear in the first page or even second page, and you've got to just scroll through all the listings and maps, making it really hard to find your profile. If that's the case for you, like I said, you're verified already and your profile's new, but the optimization is so bad that it's really hard to find, then you need to work on your Google profile optimization. Hit that like and subscribe and check out my other videos. I'll link to some in the description as well that talk about how to optimize your Google business profile, especially for local search rankings. So that could be one of the main issues is, hey, it's added, it's verified, it's new, but it's also ranking really poorly because it hasn't been optimized yet and you need to put some effort into optimizing your profile. Okay, next up we have inaccurate information. So if you have incorrect or inconsistent business information across the web, that can really impact your visibility. Now again, you've heard me talk in other videos about your name, address, phone number, and website needing to be accurate in all of the business directory listings across the web. When those are inconsistent or inaccurate, Google does not trust your business. It thinks, why are all these names and addresses and phone numbers different for this business all over the web? I'm gonna put links to tools in the description to Whitespark and Bright Local. You can both check your listings and pay these companies a pretty reasonable price to clean up your listings for your business too and make sure that you have consistent 
name, address, phone number, and website links across all the directories on the web, inconsistency or incorrect information could be hurting your business right now. Okay, your business could also just be in a pending status. So if your business actually needs to be reviewed by Google to ensure that it meets their guidelines for visibility. So don't panic. If you're checking this out and you've worked hard on your Google business profile, you might just be in the pending status. So to troubleshoot all this, just go into your Google business profile manager, search my business or, or Google your business name, city, state, see if there are any notifications or alerts about your business. Then go to Google maps and search and search for your business. See if it appears in any results. And then, hey, if you need to, there's also some help forms from Google. I'll link to that in the description below where you can see it too. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video because guess what? I'm gonna teach you how to add keywords to that Google business profile to get found even more. We'll see you in the next video.